Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great and I hope that the weather is comfortable wherever you are. We're about to have another heat wave here in Greece and so it's getting pretty hot. It's getting pretty hot, but um, I'm handling it. <laughs> so today's reading is going to be for twin souls, divine soulmate connections, where there is a third party or a karmic situation. I do the reading as if it is a romantic partner, but it definitely does not have to be. It can be any person or just any kind of a situation. All right, it does not have to be a person. So yeah, and it is general. So of course it's not going to be everybody's situation. We might be tapping into a specific group. We will see. Um, so do keep that in mind. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box. And I do thank all of you who have been getting readings with me. And as always, um, your extra tips, those are always appreciated. And also if you'd like to make a donation, um, you can use the same PayPal link that is in the description box for the personal readings. And again, I thank you guys so, so much. All right, so we're gonna start by taking a look at what is going on with the Divine Masculines. Just overall energy with some Oracle cards. All right, we have Cornucopia, which is also the number 11. So let's just get a couple more. Because this is this is a pretty positive card to get. Okay. All right, so we have cornucopia, cornucopia we have healing, and we have contemplation. I do feel like um, this one also wanted to come out, which is a barrier. All right. So, yeah, the first thing that came to mind as soon as I saw that cornucopia is that the masculine is really thinking about what it is that he or she wants. What is it that makes them happy? What is it that makes them feel fulfilled and really wanting to go after that, okay? And to me, this is also resonating a lot for the masculines who have been people pleasers and just not putting themselves first or what it is that they would want. It feels like that energy here is being healed, right? Um, wanting to put themselves first, wanting to go after what it is that they want, what is it that makes them happy, all right? And this is something that, um, for this particular group at least, was something that needed to actually be healed. And it's not easy. That's definitely not an easy um, thing to change. But I feel like this is what they what they have been working on or the lessons that they have been learning, okay? So there's a lot of thinking involved about what is the barrier? What is the barrier that has kept them from having this, this um, abundance in their life? All right, so let me put these up here. So a lot of thinking about the barrier, all right? Which, of course, it's going to be the... Um, karmic situation. All right, so let's get into the tarot. We're going to take a look at their energy towards their situation and then also their energy towards their divine feminine. So, masculine's energy. Towards their karmic situation, whatever that might be for each of you, let's see. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot of um, wanting to move in a new direction, and I feel like what this is is being determined to actually follow their instinct rather than just listening to their mind. And I feel like this has been a big um, issue for a lot of them. So when it comes to this situation here. There's a lot of drive, a lot of motivation to actually take some kind of an action, possibly make some kind of a decision here um, in order to be able to get away from the barrier, dissolve that, and move towards that cornucopia, that wish fulfillment. There's, it feels like there's a lack of interest, a lack of curiosity when it comes to this situation, almost like 
wanting something new like looking up to the sky wanting something new something different wanting to feeling inspired to make some kind of a decision and to follow their own inspiration rather than than what their mind is telling them it's kind of like a fire you know the fire part of us the passion versus the logic wanting to follow passion and not so much what may seem to be logical um, to the outside world and then in some weird way this is feeling logical to them to do this so let's see what else Two of Swords in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. All right, so they're saying that there is no, there's no resolving things here in this in this situation. Okay, with that Two of Swords, this is kind of like this is like um, the most stalemate that you can get. This situation is just not going anywhere. So much so that it's like with the four of cups being in reverse it's kind of like if there ever was an opportunity for things to be fixed here or for them to feel like maybe they could be happy in this situation that is just not even on the table at the moment there there is no option for things to be to be resolved i feel like the masculine right now is not seeing eye to eye at all um with the person okay if it's a person with the karmic partner in this particular case um but with the Seven of Swords being here, it feels like they're still trying to kind of sneak away from it. Still trying to, on the one hand, feeling like, you know, maybe I can just disappear from this. Maybe, maybe things will just happen in a way where I can get myself out of this situation. Even though they do feel determined to take action, there's still that little bit that's like, well, maybe, maybe things will just kind of... Um, happen in a way where I can just be gone, be away from this. We will clarify some of these. All right, let me get one more row. All right, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Let me just get one more. And the chariot in reverse. All right, okay, so they're all in reverse. Um, I don't know why there is such a glare down here in this corner. Just notice that. Um, hold on. Okay, yeah, I can't get rid of that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, all right. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. Really, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Chariot in reverse. Well, there's no movement forward definitely in this connection, all right? Um, with whatever the karmic situation is, there is um, a, a very strong sense of dissatisfaction, unhappiness. I feel like this is like more so than, I, than we've ever seen. Feel like the masculine is feel almost feeling like they're losing control here in this situation. Let's clarify. <clears throat> All right, so I just had the moon um, pop out. like they're hiding something they're hiding something here and I'm not sure if it's actually from the karmic or if it is from you maybe both all right let's clarify the pages all right we have the five of swords in reverse 
Yeah, again, so I feel like it's the same theme here. Um, wanting to put themselves first, basically. Again, and it feel, to them it feels like it's going against their logic. Because logic is telling them that no, you know, they need to do things for others or they need to do this and that to, um, for at least for when it comes to the karmic situation or other people. Um, they're going against that. They're going against that logic and wanting to put themselves first, even if it doesn't feel rational to them. Let's see the King of Swords. All right, and we have the Five of Wands now in reverse. Okay, yeah, wow, exactly. Really wanting to cut out anything that is causing them conflict. You know, if there is something that they are disagreeing with, I feel like they are now speaking their mind. Whereas in the past, maybe they were not. Um, really, really being able to also see clearly what this conflict is, really seeing how this is a barrier to their own happiness. All right, so for the Two of Swords, we have the High Priestess in reverse. So they're actually being pretty um, open about this with the with the karma partner, um, feeling like there's no solution here. So this is something that, and I remember um, actually saying that in one of the um, recent videos that there was a conversation or something coming up. So I feel like it might be the same group <clears throat> that I'm tapping into now where there has been a conversation or at least they're expressing this in some way that, you know what, like we're just not agreeing. There's no agreement like on anything. And it almost feels like the masculine is kind of provoking that in a way, just to kind of make that make that point. Um, I'm even getting that they might be creating this conflict here in order to kind of push themselves to want to cut that out of their lives, kind of like wanting to escalate things um, in a negative way so that it can be kind of like a stepping stone. It's like they want to bring out all the negatives in this situation. They want all the negatives to come to the surface to be seen. Not just not just to have an excuse or a justification, but also for their own self. Let me see the four of cups. I usually don't clarify so many, but I'm feeling guided to do so. Four cups. All right, the Ace of Wands. So yeah, they're definitely wanting something new here. And again, I feel like this is them. It's just com really coming through as feeling like that opportunity to have um, a reconnection or to reignite things. That's a lost opportunity. That's what's lost. The, the passion is gone. They, they don't feel inspired at all in this connection. If anything, they're feeling the opposite. Like that fire is out. Even the smoke. Maybe there's a tad bit of smoke left. But that fire is being is already um, been put out. Let's see the Seven of Swords. The Three of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, so this is what they're doing. Okay, now it's making sense. Um, it's what I've been saying about, <laughs> what I was just saying, about them wanting to bring all the negatives to the surface. Because in that way, they're almost, it, it's like another attempt to escape. Like maybe if all the negatives come to the surface, then... I won't have to do anything or I won't have to wait anymore for my own self to do something. You know, maybe things can just naturally progress to an ending of this. I feel like it's part of, it's like this little plan that they have. Um, possibly for some of them it might be a little bit subconscious and it's just them subconsciously doing that. <clears throat> 
but they're bringing up all the negatives to the surface here. Kind of like trying to really reach their limit as to how annoyed um, they can feel. But I feel like they're also doing that for the karmic as well. So that the karmic can feel that way also. Alright, bottom row. Let's just clarify this bottom row. Alright, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The, <laughs> the Knight of Cups and... The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So each one of these is clarifying um, the card, the main energy. So for the Ace of Cups in reverse, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, even though there's no love here, right? They're feeling like just so disconnected, so disconnected from this connection at the moment. This is what is pushing them to want to be single. This is what is, uh, it's, or to be at least independent of the situation, whatever that situation is. All right, and they're not at the moment. They're not. And even the fact that they're not, that is pushing them to want to to move more towards their self-love. It's kind of like feeling like the fact that I am attached to this person is associated with me not having enough self-love. And like I said, at the moment, this is what they are healing. This is what they have been working on. This is what the universe has been showing them. Where is your self-love? Where is your own um, sense of fulfillment here? What is it that's a barrier to you having that cornucopia, that abundance that just feeling beautiful feeling happy that would be self-love and that's why they've been working on putting themselves first as i said not being people pleasers and it all comes down to the fact that they are not that it's not that actually that they are attached to this person that is causing that it's the fact that they have that characteristic to begin with, and that is why they are attached. That is why they are not independent. So it's the lack of self-love and the lack of putting themselves first that is keeping them from being this Nine of Pentacles upright. Alright, so the Ten of Cups in reverse is being clarified by the Knight of Cups. Yeah, because the masculine wants, wants this. They want to feel romance. They want to feel like they can provide their heart and be affectionate and be romantic they want that but but it's not here it's not here in this situation with the karmic all right um so i feel like this is really coming up really coming up to the forefront and then with the chariot in reverse clarified by the six of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> so for those who have, because I, I feel like this is a specific message, for those masculines who may have been kind of trying to go with the flow of the of um, the connection, okay, with the karmic partner, they're realizing, they're feeling like things are just so out of balance that whatever it is that they have been trying to give, they're not getting back. So they might be getting it, getting it back on the surface. So the karma partner might be offering affection, but they're not feeling it. It doesn't feel, you know, like I can give, nor can I take. Why? Because the love is not there. So if the love is not there, we cannot give it back and forth to each other. It's just not there. And so I feel like this is actually an energy of also giving up with the chariot being in reverse not wanting to move forward, not wanting to put in an effort anymore, not even trying to bring that balance. Okay. So that was actually quite a bit here for the masculines and the karmic situation. Let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their divine feminine. is causing the cards to just slip out of my hands. Alright, 
So masculine's energy towards their divine feminine. All right, so we have, okay, that's interesting. The Ace of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords upright, and the Five of Cups in reverse. All right, so the reason why I say it's interesting is because in their energy towards the karmic partner, it's like the opposite, right? They have two pages for their feminine. They have two aces. Both are wands and swords, but which one is in reverse is the opposite. So that's why it's interesting to me. So whereas for the karmic partner, they're deciding to follow, you know, what it is that they feel from within, where they're feeling guided towards rather than using logic. It's actually the opposite for their Divine Feminine right now. Um, when it comes to their Divine Feminine, they're feeling like, no, I can't do what I, the urge that I'm feeling, like they're holding back when it comes to what their urge is and they're using logic. They're using logic instead. So they're trying to rationalize their movement or what they're saying or what they're doing. And I am getting that that's because they're feeling a lot of regret or possibly even a fear of making a mistake, a fear of regretting what they might do or what they might say. And so it, it's actually coming through as if it is that the masculine is being very, very cautious right now when it comes to how they deal with their divine feminine. Kind of like I need to you know, be really smart about it. I need to really... Um, be rational, think things through, don't act on impulse, you know, don't just do what I feel. No, think things through because what if I end up regretting it and then, um, and then I feel worse than what I already feel. That's the masculine's mentality at the moment. So let's see what else. Ten of Wands, the Fool in Reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely the masculine holding back um, from being impulsive, all right? Showing up again with the Fool being in Reverse. And this is actually a very difficult task for them to do. I feel like at the moment there's um, a lot of drive, a lot of feelings coming up that are just very, very intense. Um, but there's this fear of making a mistake or, or doing or saying the wrong thing. There's a fear of acting on impulse. And for that reason, they're really holding back a lot. And it's difficult. It's, um, I feel like it's weighing heavy on them, the fact that they're holding back like this. So we will clarify those and see why. Um, but let me just get one more row. All right, so we have the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and then together the, we have the Ten of Swords and the Devil, all upright. All right. The emotions are insane right now. There's a lot of emotions coming up, just as I was just saying, a lot of emotions coming up, a lot of love, um, and there's a lot of drive. As I said, with that Knight of Wands, the masculine is feeling like they really want to act on impulse. They're having this urge, wanting to move towards the Divine Feminine in one way or another, um, whether it be to express something um, or to do something or to just see you or, you know, whatever, whatever. But again, there's this fear of making things worse. There's this fear of being hurt. It's like the masculine is feeling if I if there's even any chance left here with this person, I don't want to ruin that. And so actually, you know what? Let's let's clarify before I say anything else. So 
So I feel like that top row is very clear. So I'm actually going to, I really just want to clarify this bottom row <clears throat> more than anything, but I will clarify um, that <clears throat> the four of pentacles in the second row or just the second row in general. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Cups. So definitely, okay, so I feel like for the most part, it's the masculine wanting to express their emotions to you, okay? That is what this is mostly about, really wanting to just express themselves um, emotionally. Also to... Also to give you affection. I feel like there's a deep longing for that also with that Five of Cups. Um, not having released the past or the past coming back up. And thinking about the past with you. And this is something that is also pushing them forward. Um, but again, they're holding back because they feel like they're going to be met with resistance by you. So this is why they're holding back. They, they truly feel like you are just not going to be accepting of this or that you are going to um, possibly even reject them or just be a little bit distant maybe. They just feel like there's going to be resistance from you. And um, what I'm getting here is also that they don't know if they will be able to deal with that. Like that might actually um, discourage what they are trying to do. Whether this will work or not. Um, <laughs> this strategy of trying to bring up all the negatives and make things, you know, really chaotic and um, conflict-oriented in the in the karmic situation. Um, they don't want to get discouraged, and so I feel like that's one reason why they're holding back. All right, let's see. Let's see this bottom row. Why are they so afraid of this rejection or of making things worse or... Alright, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Hermit in reverse. So there's a fear. It's it's kind of like, you know, they, they don't want to give you this, um, I'm going to say this, I've been saying this to some clients, it's like giving you a pellet. <laughs> they don't want to give you just a pellet where it's just like this little treat, but then not following through. And it's, they're worried about you actually seeing that as a pilot, like you not even really believing them. And you just thinking that, yeah, you know, you're not serious, you're not being honest, like this is what you, you've done this in the past and, you know, and then that's going to just lead to them feeling even more alone. And they feel like that is actually going to push you further, further away. And so it's kind of like the masculine now has the feminine, like just on standby, holding back from these urges so as to not push you further away. But I feel like for some of you, you might be getting hints of that. Like you might, depending on whether or not you are in contact or whether you or not, you know, you have some kind of interaction in some form, um, you might be getting hints of that. All right. So, yeah, this reading is already longer than what I had anticipated. And we still have to see the um, upcoming energy as well as the feminine's energy. So, you know, I'm just going to take a quick look at the feminine and any messages that want to come through because we do get quite a bit of messages for the feminines when I do the collective readings that are not specific for karmic situations so you might want to check that out if you haven't already 
And also, um, a friend of mine has an Instagram page. It's, um, I'll put it in the description box. Um, a Scorpio's Journey. Or Journey of a Scorpio. I always get that confused. I'm so sorry. Um, but I will have it in the description box. You might want to follow her. She has some amazing channeled messages that come through. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she's amazing. So you can get some more information for the feminines over there as well. All right. All right, and we have journey. All right, so this could be literal or it could be um, figurative for some of you. So some of you might actually be taking a physical journey, maybe moving away. Um, if that is the situation for you, I feel like this is a message for you. You know that that is going to be something very positive, so that you are on the right on the right track. And for others of you, this could definitely be um, metaphorically take it in the sense that, yeah, you know, it's like packing your bags and leaving, even if it's just energetically from this connection. All right, and we also have fear and we have pride and ego. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this is a message for some of you to just, you know, really make sure that, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, that it's not just a self-defense mechanism or that at least even if it is that you are aware of that, all right, that you're not just acting out of pride and ego. Um, it's one thing to have self-respect. So differentiate self-respect from pride and ego just so that you're not acting out of fear or that you're not doing something as a means to an end but trying to tell yourself otherwise. So I feel like that's just for a for specific group of you. That is definitely not going to be for all of you. Um, but for some of you, yeah, it could be that, you know, you, you're trying to leave this situation, trying to leave this connection. And yes, I mean, even the effort alone is um, admirable in and of itself. But spirit is just saying, you know, where is it that you might still be holding on to some fear about this connection? You don't need to have a fear of anything. That's just your ego talking. All right. Basically, that is the point here. That's just your ego. If you are moving away from this connection energetically, there is nothing to fear. You are on the right path. Don't listen to your ego. All right. Listen to your higher self, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart. And if your heart is telling you it's okay to move away from this because this love is always going to be there and things are going to work out in the way that they should and in the way that will be for your highest good, then you have nothing to fear. All right, so let me just get a couple of tarot for the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks all right we have the knight of wands in reverse the unknown card also showing up in reverse so it doesn't really matter and the ten of pentacles in reverse okay so this is the guidance here, and I feel it is um, very relevant to what I was just saying. It's okay to move towards the unknown, okay? This is the feminine possibly having some fear when it comes to taking action in a specific direction or moving away from a situation, feeling like, you know, maybe you're losing this possibility for having, you know, the abundance that you had hoped for. For some of you, this might even be a completely um, irrelevant message relating to work okay, or to your career or to a project that you're working on or whatever it is. The spirit is saying that it's okay to move in a direction even if you don't know exactly where you are headed, okay? You don't always have to know exactly what the outcome is going to be. If you are feeling guided to move in that direction, and I feel like for a lot of you, you are, all right, with Journey and the Knight of Wands showing up here, it's all about just trusting that trusting the unknown and that the solutions will present themselves as you go along. We don't always have the solutions right from the beginning for certain things. It's like taking that first step and then, you know, 
even if you know you're going to encounter some kind of an obstacle, well, once you take that first step and the obstacle presents itself, that's when the solution will also pre present itself. So whatever that means um, to you guys. All right, so let's actually see what is coming up in the next week or two for the masculines in this karmic situation. All right, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Star. All right, yeah, so whatever, I feel like this is actually the masculine um, overcoming pain associated with this connection. So whatever pain was there when it comes to taking action or resolving a situation or moving towards their, um, their guidance and what it is that they've been feeling, they're feeling less and less pain, all right? That is what is coming up. Um, I'm not I'm not seeing that there's actually um, a full-on separation in the next week, to be honest, but, but they're definitely moving here in the right direction, and a big part of that is actually that healing, right? Which we do have that healing card. Healing that barrier, which for a lot of them was not standing up for themselves not being a go-getter, pleasing everybody else. Now, them being this way, being more of, okay, me, is less painful than it was before. And that is actually a big step, all right? At least for this group here. That is a big step because that was one of the barriers that was holding them back. And especially with the star being here, I mean, that's, that's them following their intuition, following their guidance, following their higher self, feeling hopeful for moving towards what it is that they want. All right, let's um, see their energy towards their feminine next week or so. like this one was this way okay all right so we have the the hanged man in reverse the eight of swords and strength in reverse yeah okay so they're having a bit of a hard time here to be honest um in the next week i feel like they're still feeling a little bit um stuck when it comes to acting on these urges and maybe that's actually a good thing all right, I actually feel like that is a good thing. And this is something that, you know, they're holding back. The strength card in reverse, this is not coming through as being representative of them not being strong. It's not that. Although, of course, for some of them, yes, it could be that, you know, they still need to work on their strength. But what I'm getting here is that this is all about them. It's taking a lot of strength for them to hold back. Um, and they are, they're feeling tied to you. All right, they're feeling tied. They're also feeling a lot of fear, again, as to what the um, outcome might be. And it's because of that fear that they are holding back. They are restraining themselves from coming forward and expressing themselves, pretty much. So I don't feel like much is going to change in what you will see from them in the next week. I feel like the masculines want to have at least something to show, something to present um, when it comes to the karmic situation um, before they come forward to you. They want to be able to have made some kind of a, a more tangible type of a move in order to present to you. Otherwise, they feel like they're just going to be rejected by you. So... Close this out with just a couple of oracle messages. All right, we have why. So this is the masculine's really contemplating, right? It's that contemplation card, thinking about 
why am I in this situation to begin with? Why am I allowing this to be such a barrier when it comes to what it is that I want, now that I know what it is that I want? All right, so they're asking themselves a lot of questions, really going deep, which is actually a very, very positive um, message here. Yeah, Mannix, we were wondering where you were. All right, let me get one more. All right, and we have blessed. Okay, so this is just a message um, overall for you. Yes, you know that this, it's reminding me of the star. All right, this connection is blessed. There is divine guidance here. Okay, for both of you, both for the masculine as well as for the feminine. And so again, I feel like you are being encouraged to really listen to your intuition. To not doubt and don't fear what your intuition is telling you. So I'm just going to get one last oracle message from this deck here. All right, and we have traveling lightly, simplify your life. But really what is catching my eye here is the fact that this is another traveling card, all right? Just like the journey, just like the Knight of Wands. All right, this is about traveling. So if any of you are traveling, moving, or taking a journey, you know, take this as your sign, all right? Don't, don't take things too, too seriously. Don't allow it to be um, a bigger, you know, um, weight on you than what it actually is because that can be caused by fear again all right and, and again for those of you just wanting to move away from this connection there is no need to fear all right simplify your life all right guys so i'm gonna leave it at that i thank you all so so much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon much love